The real benefit um, came for me is, uh, is in the national network. I've probably attended 15 national conferences of, of CPRS, at least. And, um, and every one of those I've, I've taken something from. But the greatest benefit is that, that connecting with people from across um, Canada. It's, it, you know, Canada is a vast country and we have little, you know, cultures within it. And to get to learn um, about the country and, and communications is even done differently. And, you know, you asked me the earlier question about what's the difference between the Canada and the U.S. approach to communications. I think there's different approaches to communications based on what part of Canada you're living in and are working in. And uh, so to get to to expose to those different things, that, that's just learning opportunities, that's all. We're all doing the same business. We're in the practice of public relations, we're in the business of communications, marketing, marketing communications, all these different things. But we practice them in different ways, partly because of location, geography, but also because of people. And the benefits I've found is being part of these national associations, or even international associations, has given you perspective. I mean, I find it immensely helpful to have colleagues that I can turn to who are in other parts of the country that I've met through national events, I've met through national conferences, I've formed really close relationships. I've attended conferences for CPRS in, in Regina, um, in Toronto, um, in St. John, New Brunswick. Um, we had a national conference here in Victoria this past summer. It was a wonderful event. You met people from all over the country. Those kinds of opportunities are important. Mostly at national conferences, um, obviously they're all involved in their local chapters, but everyone has a lot. I think everyone feels the same way that I do about, about CPRS, at least the people that I come in contact with. They feel like it's great to be some part of something larger than just their office or their organization or their local community. I mean, this is a national thing with global and international ties and um, it just feels good to, to be able to contribute in that way. Why the national brand gives you um, a certain cachet, a certain importance, is because we live in an era when people have access to all kinds of information. Um, so when you're part of a national association, um, you're going to be able to relate to people and people understand that your association has Toronto members and has Eastern Canada members and it gives you credibility. This year the annual CPRS conference was held in Victoria and I took part in organizing that by sitting on the planning committee. Um, one of the really great things about taking part in that was that I got to work with the national CPRS board and staff and um, got to meet people that I wouldn't otherwise have met not specifically in Victoria but abroad, and also new people in Victoria. It was a really, really great experience. The true value of CPRS is, is in having that community that you can go to and rely on to grow yourself and then to grow the profession as a whole. It's, um, it's something that you can't do if you're an individual practitioner and you're not a member of an association and you're just going at it alone. You don't have those resources to bounce ideas off of, to learn best practices from or to just, you know, share a drink with at the end of the day because you understand what the other person has gone through.